Guys, guess who's back today? That's right, Vape King is finally. I'm sorry to my subscribers, I haven't done a video lately. Um, been busy with a bunch of stuff. Well, today's gonna be a little bit different. Um, actually, no, it's not gonna be different because I'm talking about a dripper. I'm talking about the Cartel uh, 26650. I don't know if this is a version 2, if they have a version 2, I can't remember. Um, I did purchase this from Fast Tech for roughly around $9. I'll put a link below the video to where you can get it. Um, so, you know what, let's first of all, let's start talking about airflow. So let's put that back on. Okay, so for the airflow of this thing, it is got adjustable airflow. And as you can see, if you ever have had a still air, it's kind of the same design type of deal. Uh, on the sides, it's got two air holes. It's set up, it's made for dual coils. You can run it in a uh, single coil, but I suggest doing dual coils being it's got two airflow holes. Um, they're both adjustable by the top cap here. This top part comes off. I'm not going to show you that. Um, if you want to see that, I'll put a link below. You can go to Fast Tech, check this thing out, check out all the pictures. Um, but anyways, it does come in stainless steel. I got the copper version. Um, thought it would look better on the fat snow, so that's why I did it. Um, and it does look good. Um, it does have an image on the front. It's like uh, kind of like a horror centaur type of deal, and it says limited something. Um, this dripper, I've been using it for quite a while now, and overall it's been a good dripper. Um, it does have 510 drip tips, so you can put any drip tip you want on it. I have these Vape Life ones from Fast Tech, and you know what, maybe I'll do a review video, uh, video for them because I like them a lot. They're good drip uh, tips. Um, I have another vape. And I am vaping 8020 juice in here today. Um, it's from Mount Baker Vapor. It's called Happy Rancher. And let me tell you, the juice is phenomenal. If you guys have not used Mount Baker Vapor, try them out and see if you like their juice. It's good juice. Um, really good. So anyways, let's get back to this. So, let's take this top cap off. As you can see my coils are doing good in there. Um, I got set up for dual coil. 24 gauge Kenthal, 6 wraps on each coil. I don't know the exact ohms, I can't remember. I do not have an ohm reader because I don't know, I don't need one. So I haven't bought one. I don't really do much sub ohming, so we're good there. Um, so this thing is a great, great, great atomizer. Overall, or uh, dripper, or whatever you want to call it, you know. Um, adjustable airflow is always nice when it comes to a dripper because with adjustable airflow, you have a max you can go and then you have less so in other words now if you don't like your airflow all the way open you're not a lung hitter you can adjust it so you can mouth hit it so and you know it's it, it's got options on it you know so you don't drill out holes then you're stuck with those holes forever this way you are not which is really nice um, what else can I say about it it is 510 pin center pin uh, I believe it does have adjustable pin on it. I've never adjusted it because the fat snow if I have to adjust it as you can see by the crack in it. I got the one pin in here that is non-adjustable. It just goes right up to the copper or whatever pin. So that's why. Um. I don't know what I can talk about next. You guys want to know how big the drip well is. Okay, well, let's go like this. Let's take this off. I do not fill my drip walls full of cotton. The reason for that is because is it annoys me. I like to be able to fill them with juice. And yeah, I know maybe if I stuffed it with cotton, I'd be able to get a little bit better, more juice in there. Because it would soak up into the cotton, you know, and it'd be stored in the cotton. But I do not like that. I like it to be able to go directly up into my cotton so I know I'm getting a good vape. Um, it does have a number on it, a uh, build number. Mine's 847. Now, I believe that is a fake number, so maybe someone will get the same number as me. I, I don't know how Fast Tech works that or the company that makes their atomizers for Fast Tech works that. So, you know what? If you buy one of these, you get 847. Hey, we got matching numbers, I guess. Um, so, what else is there to say? I have noticed a little bit with this atomizer. Um, when I do do it this way, I do get some juice on the sidewalls of the atomizer, which is okay with me. I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me until I go to take off the atomizer, which I don't do too often because this is my everyday vape atomizer. 
or dripper. Um, I do have an authentic uh, Panzer, Rainbow Panzer, with that Atlantis on it. Maybe I'll do a video for that too. I haven't done a video in a while for an authentic mod. Actually, I don't think I've ever done an authentic mod besides the Provari and like the Vamo. So you can see that's vaping good stuff, Atlantis. Good old atomizer. Um, let's take another vape. Okay, so overall, guys, you're getting a good value with this atomizer. It does have Phillips head screws, which I'm not going to show you because I have to tip over the atomizer and I just filled it. Um, and they are kind of crappy. I have, you know, they're getting to the point where they're stripped out. I'm going to have to get new ones. I'll have to find out the size of the screws and everything and get new ones for it. Um, that's all I got for you guys today on this atomizer. Um, in the future, if I find anything else, I'll go back in and edit the description. I haven't really, I've had it for quite a while now. I don't think there's anything else I can really tell you about it. Besides, it's a good atomizer. If you don't have one, pick it up. Fastech.com. F-A-S-S-T-E-C-H.com. I know I'm going to get some hate for this video, maybe, because it's Chinese. But you know what? Oh, well, that's how things go. Um, thank you guys for watching. You have a good day.